Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game two of the 2024 Stanley Cup Finals right here in beautiful Sunrise, Florida. It's a bit of a sun shower right now. It's simultaneously raining and the sun is shining. Welcome to Florida. Uh, now listen, I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, meaning I'm not really a fan of the Edmonton Oilers or the Florida Panthers. I'm sort of here in support of the sport of hockey itself because mm. my Leafs may never make the finals even if I live to be 100 years old. I haven't lost hope yet, but my point is let's go inside the arena here. It's called Amaranth Bank Arena. It looks to be pretty nice. My first ever finals game. I'm sort of excited and can't wait. Not to mention, let's go buy ourselves a cold drink. Let's go. Traded ends in game one, uh, Florida would have lost that game. So it's gonna be a good matchup here. You guys know I'm a goalie, so I tend to watch things from the goalie perspective. So it's sort of nice for me that the story of game one was uh, Bobrovsky down here in the left end. All right, so Edmonton's got a power play here. This might be where we see the first real quality scoring chance of the game. Certainly Skinner's made a few good stops. Nothing too dangerous as of yet. Let's see what Edmonton can do. Oh, oh, what happened there? Bob went flying. Oh, Bob went flying. The crowd didn't like it. Oh. Great pass by McDavid. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
bit of a knee on knee. It kind of looked accidental, but it's a dangerous play. Let's wait for the replay. It's an ugly play. Looks like a knee on knee, which can be a career ender. Ouch. Let's see it again. Let's see it again. really the important thing because that's a scary place. No replay yet. Maybe they won't show it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, that doesn't look intentional, honestly. But it does look really dangerous. Oh, that view looks awful. That view looks like he stuck his knee into him. The first view wasn't so bad, but that second view looks like he's out of the game. I think he's getting sent home for that. We'll see. power play which also means if Florida scores they'll still be on the power play which is a huge advantage here. Let's see if they can do a better job than Edmonton because Edmonton only had maybe half a chance on their power play although it was only two minutes. Ah oh, big mistake by Florida. Took a tripping penalty in the neutral zone. So now we got some good old-fashioned four-on-four hockey which I wonder who that favors maybe Edmonton with their big guns up front Connor McDavid. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of ice out there. Oh, two on one from center ice. Two on one from center ice. Unexpected. Wow. And I guess because it's four on four, it's not technically an Edmonton power play. Uh, despite the fact that they scored, it's still four on four. I was expecting the Florida player to come out of the box, but it's still four on four, which is a uh, big advantage for Edmonton, helping them kill their five minute major. So just like that, Florida is back on the power play. About a minute left in the five minute major. Man, the wheels on Connor McDavid are just unbelievable. I mean, when he picks up the puck in his own zone, you almost know he's going right to the other team's net. And he skates like the wind. Oh! Florida power play with less than a minute left here in the period. Let's see if they can score one quick or if they'll start the second on the power play. They got great puck control here, that's for sure. Oh, all the way down. That should be it for the period. I tell you what, very entertaining period of hockey. And now it's time for a beer. If I can afford it. I gotta ask my wife. <laughs> So, overall fan experience. First of all, you can probably hear the live band, which is pretty great. Uh, no speakers, rather a drum and a guitarist and they're singing. Also, the <laughs> best thing you could do is wear a Leafs jersey. I made like 10 friends already. A lot of the Oilers jerseys are people from various parts of Canada who happen to have an Oilers jersey. I think there's a lot of Leaf fans in the house tonight. I will say this, this is the line for the bathroom and it's been like 
twice as long before. <laughs> I would opt for an extra bathroom being installed on the top level. But overall, it's a good experience. The arena itself is not too loud, but the fans are... Uh, Great job, Bobby. The Leaf jersey is a hit. Austin Matthews tattoo! Austin Matthews tattoo! Could not have scripted that any better. Unbelievable. So anyway, uh, second period starts now. Ivana, can I afford another beer? Come on, Ivana! <laughs> My first time in the finals! Okay. One more beer. Alright, second period underway here. And I tell you what, the first period was not exactly what I expected. I figured Edmonton would have lots of chances and Bob would be standing on his head. But as a matter of fact, I got Florida with more chances in the first period and Skinner is the one who's playing great. So almost like the opposite of game one is what's happening here in game two. So let's see what happens in the second period. And I tell you what, Florida just got kind of screwed on a penalty call. It was a total phantom call. I guess they called it hooking, but I think nobody in the arena saw it except for the ref. In the end, the Florida power play is over. And in fact, Edmonton is on the power play now. So let's see what McDavid can do. Coming full speed through the center like he always does. <laughs> Big opportunity for Edmonton here because Two goal lead is a lot more comfortable than one. Oh! Great block. Might have been the D-man or the goalie, but great save. Another great block by the defender. I mean, good penalty kill so far. Oh, even a bit of a floor check on the penalty kill. Wow. Great floor check on the penalty kill. Turned into a shot from the slot. Wow. Just like that, back to even strength. Hey, what? Beautiful. That was textbook. Win the face off, two passes and a shot. Shoot it! Take. Whoa! Nice snag by Skinner through a screen. I tell you what, sometimes a successful penalty kill gives the uh, killing team a bit of a boost. It seems like that's what's happened here because Florida was shorthanded. They did a great job on the penalty kill and they've had a bunch of chances. The thing is, the Edmonton goalie has been up to the test so far. I tell you what, it's really funny how in North America, there's one cheer. It's go Leafs go or it's let's go Panthers. There's really one cheer that the crowd will do for the home team. But in Europe, they've got so much more elaborate cheers. Ivana and I spent a bunch of time in Finland watching hockey, and uh, it's a different experience, but in terms of the fan experience, it's just so much more cheering and so much more, uh, really, enthusiasm from the crowd. It's, uh, it's a more subdued crowd here in North America, I will admit. I don't know. That was a bit like 
it's Connor McDavid, so they call it. I don't know. We'll get the replay on that. That was 97, right? I think it was. <laughs> yeah, there's a new chant. There's a second chant. Ref, you suck. I think Connor McDavid was moving his feet really well. And he went down, and the ref goes, wow. He never goes down, so it must be a penalty. Bit of an iffy call. I'm worried Florida's getting screwed again here on that, on that penalty. Let's see the replay. We get, we get one. Yeah, it was 90. Oh, I don't know. That was a bit of a... Didn't look so bad on replay, but... It's just it is 97, so you wonder if that affects the ref in some way. In any case, it's another power play for Edmonton. In a 1-1 game here in a second. And so it seems like Edmonton is setting up from the top of the slot or what I would call the top of the umbrella. A lot of teams set up the one-timer from the dot, sort of on the bottom edges of the umbrella. And it seems like Edmonton is trying to work the shot. Oh, there's a low angle. Wow, Baba is insane. That was a tough angle, but Bob kept it out. And honestly, this crowd loves Bob. They love Bob. Sergey Bobrovsky. You make a Bobby. save and the whole crowd is chanting your name. I mean, he's got to have lightning in his fingers. Bobby, Bobby. Just... And I guess in the Stanley Cup Finals, number 97 does all two minutes of the power play. Because look what he can do that other people cannot. Oh! Whoa! I guess they say your best penalty killer has got to be your goalie. It seems to be happening here. And we got about 10 seconds left, so one more chance for Edmonton to get a shot off. Throw it on net pretty soon, boys. There's that long shot from the top of the umbrella. And just like that, even strength. But we got one more chance here. Oh, off the bar! Off the bar! And now, the crowd will come alive. It's a bit funny in hockey, but on a good penalty kill, you actually get a momentum boost just from not getting scored against. But Florida might get a boost for the end of the period here. Oh no! Ah, uh, they're cheering, so it must be Edmonton, yep. Hey, look at that. Fresh off the momentum of the penalty kill, you get a power play. This is Florida's big chance to take the lead. Wow, what a turning point. First. Oh, man. Stewart has made a few huge saves, man. Huge. Great pass. Stewart goes poke and butterfly slide. Goes for the poke and then sucks up the rebound right in his, uh, right in his midsection. Great job. Oh. And just like that, the Ow. Florida power play Ow. is over. We've got about a minute left here. And it seems like tensions are rising because 1-1 one, one game in the Stanley Cup Finals. Oh. Oh. Everyone seems to be on the edge of their seat. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right, good period. Good period. center of attention. Now, thanks to the huge bathroom line, I was able to talk to a lot of Florida fans as we were waiting. It seems like the general consensus is the Florida fans think next goal for Florida uh -huh. is going to win the game and also win the series. 
they're saying one more scoring chance and they take the lead and Edmonton's not coming back from 2 nothing. So we'll see if that's true. It does feel like a bit of next goal wins this game. That's what it feels like out there, but uh, the Florida fans were saying if they win this game with one more goal, the no, series I want is the over. Canadian team to win. I am sort of cheering for Edmonton while maintaining my neutrality because if the Leafs ever make a finals, I'm going all in for the Leafs. I love this team. Now, I will say this. Ivana and I were planning on buying a house this year. Maybe we'll postpone it because I think I'm going to spend the whole down payment on three cans of beer. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can't stop now, Ivana. I'm in the zone. Um, approved or not approved? Bye. Approved. All right. The third period starting. Go Leafs, go. My team sucks. I'm cheering for hockey. Oh, All right. a bad penalty to be the reason this game gets tied up if it does. I want to see what Edmonton can do sort of on their own here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Over the course of nearly two games, 
Edmonton has got one goal and it was kind of a garbage goal, to be honest. So they need to score or do something. Wow. Still trying to play goalie, okay? You think I puck to the head and you're you're dead. But he was on instinct, still trying to stop the puck with no helmet on. <laughs> Hello, boy, Bob. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Boilers are getting a little bit upset. I wonder if they're upset because they are losing. result is four on four hockey because of offsetting minors. I think four on four will actually benefit Edmonton because of their speed, but we'll see because uh, Florida is hot right now. Coach of Edmonton agrees with my friends in the line for the urinal. And they think if we lose this game, we're doomed. Because pulling the goalie with five minutes is bold. Really bold. Oh my gosh, Florida got a delay of game penalty. And now it's six on four with an empty net for Edmonton. And we still have about four minutes left. This is high stakes hockey. Literally the highest of stakes. The final series of the best league in the world. With a net empty. Need a shot, boys. Nothing there. Nothing there. All right, so the Florida penalty just ended. Meaning it's six on five. The net's been empty for so long. That's a penalty, no? No call? That looked like he tied him up and took him down from behind. I mean, it looked like he had no positioning and the puck was in front of them both and took him down. It, it, it honestly seems like the refs have favored Edmonton a bit. We want the cup. We want the cup. We want the cup. This 
listen, those guys I talk to in the bathroom, they really echo the sentiment of the whole audience here. If we win this game, we're winning the cup. was a panther but the mascot is a rat don't ask me why anyway the rats are going on the ice I'm not sure if you're supposed to throw it or not but they're doing it nonetheless <laughs> it's a rat filled affair here in Sunset Florida and so in conclusion there's something about a bunch of people from the Sunshine State chanting we want the cup we want the cup, and I really love. There is a part of me that wants a Canadian team to win the trophy because it's our game and it's our trophy and I get it, but the Floridians seem to understand how great this sport is and they seem to really love it because they're really into it. They're wearing helmets in the stands. Let's go Panthers, we want the cup. It's sort of great for me to see. So uh, it was a great experience for my first ever NHL Stanley Cup Finals. Blew the whole budget on beer, and Yvonne is mad at me, but no regrets. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs>